charming internet world. We just crossed into Montana. I believe this is Highway 212. We slept in Belfort, South Dakota last night. We have about 2,000 kilometers or 1,200 miles or so left to get to our destination. We got today and tomorrow to get it done. 7 a.m. Monday morning is when they want this stuff at the location. And it shouldn't take too long to unload. They're all pretty much the same size. Uh, it's bundles of glass for a building project. And once I'm empty, I just head over to Langley, pick up another load there. I gotta tarp that, but that's also another easy load to tarp. Then we'll be on the way home. The weather back home has been around minus 25 to minus 35 degrees Celsius. It's cold back home, but here it's actually right around the freezing point, around zero. 32 Fahrenheit. It's not too bad. The only thing about it being this temperature is all of this mess. Like that. It's a messy day, but I'll take it. Oh, look at this. Trucks have a different speed limit than the cars. That must be annoying for the cars. Do you see that? Truck speed limit, 60 miles an hour. Car speed limit was 70 miles an hour. And there's different speed limits for night as well. That's confusing. Oh, bald eagle. You see that? America. find a Walmart that's supposed to be around here I got my Google GPS leading me there but I took a or I missed a turn so now I'm trying to get there the roundabout way there's a train yard off to our left here and the Walmart is on the other side of the train yard so I got to go all the way around I think at these lights up here Casino here, casino there. Everywhere's a casino. And a liquor store. <laughs> liquor stores and casinos and bars. That's how you know you're in Montana. <laughs> Turn left on First Avenue. There will be a low Take bridge here. Turn left onto South First Avenue, then turn left onto East Railroad Street. How low is that bridge? Oh, 13 foot two. No, I can't go there. Okay, no, I've got to go straight forward. Shoot. My truck is 13 foot six. 
I can't get under that bridge. Great, so we gotta find another way around. I think so. No. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto South Fifth Avenue. Okay, so hopefully that one doesn't have a low bridge. I know the camera probably didn't pick that bridge up, but the bridge was uh, the bridge height was 13 foot two, and my truck is about 13 foot six, a little less than that. But I don't want to risk hitting the top of my sleeper on that Take bridge. Next left onto South Fifth Avenue. Oh, here, eh? Here, go right here. Okay. Is there any bridge here? Oh, here we go over the tracks. Okay, that's way more convenient. Much better. In 600 feet, turn left onto West Railroad Street. Meters. Turn left onto Yikes. West Yikes. I just want to go to Walmart. This is what happens when you miss your turn. Oh, is this going to take me through a residential zone now? I hope not. Oh yeah, oh, those are nasty tracks. Okay, left here, right? I got no stop sign, truck route. Okay, so this is a truck route, okay, good. Continue on West Railroad Street for three quarters of a mile. Okay, three quarters of a mile, then we'll be at Walmart. All right. Note to self, stop missing turns. GPS nowadays, you're not supposed to miss any turns. Still happens. Got a lot of train tracks around here. Non stop. Yikes. The railroad town for sure. Well, I guess it's Western town, right? They were all railroad towns. That's how the everything used to move around. Oh, more railroad tracks. Goodness. And there's more up ahead yet. Yikes. Take the next right onto Bernhardt Road, then turn left. And all the way out here in the middle of an industrial zone is Walmart. And they got truck parking. Nice! Why doesn't every Walmart have that? Look at all these trucks here. It's like a truck stop at Walmart. See, whoever owns this Walmart, they're thinking. Look at this. It's beautiful. the next left, then your destination will be on the yes, left. There's almost no parking for me. So how do I get in there? Right here, I guess, eh? Okay. Wally World. Oh, this is one of those fancy ones, too. Just what a strange spot for it. Usually they have it a little closer to uh, the town. So way out in the, in the industrial zone. Oh well, we got here, we found it. Find ourselves a parking spot here with all these other nice drivers who apparently have a very hard time parking straight. You put a little bit of snow on the ground and suddenly nobody knows how to park straight. You ever notice that? It's true. This is awesome. They even have a uh, a cart return. Just on the other side of this truck beside me here. The other side of it there, you, can, like, you don't even have to bring your carts all the way like to the front or anything. There's a nice little cart return right here where the truckers can just leave their carts and the guys will come and bring it back to the store for you. Why don't more Walmarts do this? This is... This makes sense, you know? But that's probably why, you know, usually in this, in this world, I've, I've found this anyways, usually if something makes sense, that's not what happens. No, no. Not allowed to make too much sense. That's just weird. I'm gonna be honest with you. Wait, let's do this first. Here we go. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna be honest with you. 
I needed boxers. I didn't pack enough boxers. I haven't done that in a while. Usually I pack enough boxers for like a month. I guess I forgot to put them in the bag this time, so I had to go pick some up. It was either that or go commando the rest of the trip. So anyways, now that you know that information that you didn't really need to know, we're gonna get back on the highway. About three hours down the road, there's a Flying J. We're gonna stop for a shower, and then we're gonna still continue a little further than that yet, because I have to get as far as possible. I have to be able to make it to the customer tomorrow night. I forgot what I was gonna talk about. Stinks like a skunk. Diesel, it's not you again, is it? What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something very important. Eh, no idea. I stopped for a shower in Missoula, Montana. I guess that's kind of important. Just letting the world know I shower. That's not what I wanted to talk about though. I had this topic I really wanted to talk about with you guys when I got back in the truck. And now that I'm back in the truck on the road, I can't remember what it was. I guess it wasn't that important. <laughs> it's not coming to me. Anyway, I have just under two hours left to go. And uh, I'm gonna have to be careful tomorrow with my hours on my e-log because I don't have enough hours tomorrow to get to the Canadian border. But I can recap hours if I drive past midnight, right? If I drive past midnight central time, then my hours from the next day get added on and then I can go a little further, right? So I've gotta make it, I've gotta make sure I don't start my day too soon. Does that make sense? I'll have about six hours I can drive tomorrow and I'll be about eight hours from the border. That means I can't cross the border till midnight, right? I'll only have six hours to drive. How's this gonna work? I'm gonna have to do some math later. <laughs> Great. Chevy, you wanna do some math for me? But anyways, we will be to our destination tomorrow. It'll be a full day of driving tomorrow yet though. We'll just be driving past midnight and then uh, we'll go right to the customer, get the truck ready to unload so that uh, they can just start whenever they get there in the morning and I don't even gotta do any work. Maybe they won't even wake me up till they're done. <laughs> yeah, right, that's not gonna happen. So I was wrong before, that wasn't Missoula where I fueled up and showered, that was uh, Butte, Montana. This is Missoula, and this is where we're stopping for the night. If I can find parking here somewhere. I've got 24 minutes left on my clock, so it's time to pull her in here. We can make it from here. As long as nothing goes wrong tomorrow, we don't hit any bad weather. It's gonna really uh, mess up my clock if we hit bad weather, so. Don't wanna let that happen. Looks pretty full here, but this is a really big truck stop. There'll be room somewhere. Perfect, right here. Nose right in. Wonderful, wunderbar. Make sure I don't hit anybody. I am pretty tired, so I'm gonna double, triple check. And there's enough room at the back here that I can actually use my steps for the dogs as well. Awesome, good stuff, good show. And wait for it. There it is. That's it, that's all, Chevy. That's it, that's all. You guys ready for bed? Thanks for watching today, guys. Chevy, I, I think they already subscribed. You don't gotta keep scratching every time I'm vlogging. You already subscribed, right? Remember, he's gonna keep scratching and scratching until you do. Hey, and by the way, uh, last month, or a couple weeks ago anyways, we hit the big 85,000 subscriber uh, mark. I was gonna call it something else. The, I'm so tired I can't think right now. 85,000 subscriber benchmark. 15,000 away from 100,000. That's awesome. Thanks so much guys. I really appreciate it. 
It's been a lot of fun. We're gonna keep making these videos every day for you. So if you haven't, join us right here on TJV tomorrow. We're gonna be going through Washington State tomorrow. Should be pretty scenic. You sure? You sure they haven't all subscribed yet? Oh, that looks very satisfying.